Hey, what's up guys? My name is John and I'm an emergency medicine physician assistant. And today I wanted to share with you guys a bit about my journey and why I decided to become a PA in the first place. And this is just like a discussion and chat with you guys. It's not like I have a script prepared or anything like that. Just share with you my thoughts and everything about that and why I love being a PA. So my journey, believe it or not, starts all the way back in high school. I remember I was in you know, a junior or senior in high school. And I had a buddy, John Leinhauser, who uh, was really into EMS. He was already an EMT, I believe. He wanted to become a paramedic. And I thought that was really cool. I remember I did an elective anatomy class, really doing well in biology and tried to do really well in chemistry and stuff like that. And overall, I didn't really know what I wanted to be as a kid, but I knew I wanted to do something science related. I was really good at school. Um, I didn't really have any issues with that. I mean, my parents always encouraged doing well in school, getting good grades. They would always pull open the, the report cards and go through it with me. So I was accepted to my favorite school ever, Penn State. Um, huge Penn State fan. I love my alma mater. And I remember even as a freshman, I'm, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. So I just started taking, you know, general bio, general chemistry. I was considering becoming a bio major, but I didn't necessarily know what I wanted to do with biology yet. I started joining all these clubs and stuff, uh, one of which being um, Penn State Global Brigades, which was earn money and go travel to countries that needed help and aid. And uh, through these types of clubs, I mean, I, I went to Africa and everything like that. It was a very great experience. But through these clubs, what helped was I got to meet a lot of like-minded individuals. I got to meet people trying to go to, into medicine, into nursing, into PA school, into pharmacy, what have you, into all of those like different specialties, right? And so, I, you know, I was just chatting with people, and I realized Penn State, they offered an EMS course. So I said, heck, why not? I did it. It was three or four credits. I remember long hours. But it was taught by um, a paramedic or two and lots of EMTs. And it was a really great course. And through it, I actually discovered, you know, it wasn't until my, like, sophomore year at Penn State that I realized that PAs even existed. And it was something I wanted to pursue, you know? I knew as, as myself, I didn't really want to do nursing, and I wasn't super duper interested in uh, going to medical school. I was actually honestly considering becoming a paramedic. So with this information, you know, I started looking up and doing a lot of research and looking into how to apply to PA school and what you needed to do. And with that info, I just took all these courses, right? And I went to my academic advisor, who I know sometimes, depending on the school, they might not be super helpful. At Penn State, they were very helpful. I essentially said, listen, PA schools wanted me to have X, Y, and Z courses. Um, I mean, I'm currently kind of on the right track. What type of degrees can I do that would, you know, a lot of these things would kind of fit into a P what a PA school wants. But also, I had interests specific to myself. So at the time, and I still am, I'm super duper interested in languages. I love language learning. I mean, I run a website called FrenchCrazy.com. We've reached millions of people across the globe. I teach French. I, I wanted to major in French. So one of my degrees is actually in French. And I loved majoring in French. I studied abroad. I have family that lives in France. Uh, I wanted to do my French stuff, but I, I had a huge interest in linguistics. I was taking linguistics courses. And so I was like, I want to still do this stuff, but how can it kind of fit into... PA school stuff. Ultimately, I know it's a joke when you say you're a psych major, but they had a, an option called neuropsych at the time. I'm not sure if it still exists, where it was like taking a lot of biology classes, which PA schools would accept, you know, beginner and intermediate tiered biology classes. There was some upper level, you know, neurobiology stuff that I could take. Um, in addition to, I could just kind of get my chemistry and get all this other stuff to count towards the major. And by doing the neuropsych, I could also get my linguistics courses. Um, I wound up graduating Penn State with a major in the psychology, a major in French, and a minor in linguistics. But the way it worked out was I was able to get all my PA courses in while still doing info that I, I mean, I loved. I just, I'm a big geek, so I guess I loved learning. So why did I become a PA in the end? So I have a few reasons. I didn't want to be burdened by the $100,000, $250,000, $400,000 of student loan debt that a lot of our medical students and residents are strapped with. Secondly, by becoming a PA, I mean, I get to be practicing medicine at a really high degree. I would earn a master's degree. I felt 
I, that I really like the job description, especially in the ER. And I love medicine. I'm committed to my job and my profession, but I didn't necessarily want to make medicine my life. They say they harp on the work-life balance, work-life balance. But I mean, it's true. A lot of PAs, I mean, they take, they either don't take call or they take a small amount of call. You don't feel like you're attached to the phone. You're not attached to your workplace. You actually have a life outside of your job. Still kind of enjoy some of your 20s. I mean, you got people coming out of PA school. Sometimes they're 24, 25. And so you still have, you know, your life ahead of you, in a sense. And um, I see that a lot of people kind of do it, and they're either starting a family or they have some little kids. They get to still be there for their kids as they're growing up. They get to kind of live life the way they want with some more flexibility. Really, that's what it is. Being a PA does give me a really good salary. I mean, you get yourself a very good quality of life. A lot of PAs are making anywhere from $100,000 to $160,000. Some PAs are making $200,000 a year, but they're working a ton, so it's not, it doesn't really count to me. It goes without saying, too, you don't get into medicine for the salary. I mean, if you wanted to become rich, there's a bunch of other stuff you could do. You know, you, you get yourself a lot of financial security. You have a good job security. And it's just, I mean, I love doing what I do. I'm very happy that I got into it. And I saw PA as the best fit for me, honestly. And the awesomeness about medicine, I know we people harp on it all the time. Lots of flexibility. You could work almost anywhere in, in the country. Your skills transfer really well from one place to another. And as at least as a PA, we still have that lateral mobility. So say I get really tired of emergency medicine one day, I can go work in an urgent care. I doubt seeing that happen, but you know, there's the option, right? And it was through also just talking. I spoke to a lot of PAs. I shadowed PAs. I shadowed doctors. I spoke to doctors. And I mean, I mean, I had doctors telling me that, you know, if PA was a more popular thing back then, maybe I would have went the PA route. I had sur general surgeons tell me that they wish they w went the PA route. I mean, and that's not to say that they had regrets about becoming a surgeon because, yeah, they're a surgeon. They're, they made it. They're making their money. They're seeing patients. They're doing surgery. They're doing something fulfilling. It's not to say, surgeons say PA is better, so medicine sucks. No, that's not saying that at all. It's saying maybe there's a little bit of the grass is always greener on the other side. Personally, I don't have any regrets with where I'm at now. I know you might say 10 years from now, you know, come back and make a video about how you hate being a PA. I don't know. Personally, I think you only live life once. You got to enjoy your life. Uh, I don't think that people should have regrets for whichever path they choose. Guys, honestly, it helps a ton if you just hit that like button, take a second. It really helps the YouTube algorithm, apparently. Um, that's a big thing. Helps my channel get seen by more people. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, if you have any questions about what you're thinking about, which is right for you, just know that, I mean, it took me up until my sophomore year of college almost to realize I wanted to be a PA. If you're in high school and you know you want to be a PA, great, you're ahead of the game. If you're after high school, if you're already in another profession and you're thinking about switching to become a PA, Honestly, make the switch is a great profession. We have in more videos on how to help you do that in the future. So please subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content and you guys have a great day. Thank you.